In this video, we'll take a look at creating our drawings from our BIM model for Ecosim Building Designer Electrical. So in this example, I'll create a lighting plan for this uh, example work set that uh, I've been working on through these series of videos. So from my desktop here, I'll start my Ecosim Connect Edition shortcut. After we've been working in Building Designer, the application will open to the work page. In the work page, I can see recent work sets that I've been in, so I can use that to get to the work set. You also have this drop down here for work sets. I'm in this quick start electrical one that I created in earlier videos. So once I choose the work set, then I'll see files that I've been in in that work set. And in earlier quick start videos, this e-discipline master file was created. So in our federated approach to our designs out there, we have a uh, discipline master models. And so this file would reference in any of the working models. I'm gonna choose load electrical up here. So I load my electrical tools up here. But right here in the common tools is the references dialog box. So if I go to references, I see I don't have any attached. But if I come here and say attach reference and go to the designs folder in my work set. Now I've been working in this ePower one. So that's the only one I have right now. We'll look at it in an example here in a second that uh, has more completed uh, files in it. But you would attach all of your working models to your discipline master. So if I say open right there, so I'll give it a logical name here. And depending on how you've organized it, you might have a power DGN file for each floor in your building. You might have a lighting, you might have a, a communications, you might have an alarm. So however you've organized it in your project. Now, if I come out to my file, double clicking on my wheel, and then here's things that were done, electrical panel display, some light fixtures, some uh, power. So I did all that in that one, one file. So let's look at a different example. If I'm gonna come up here and uh, hit browse. So I went to the file tab, come to the backstage page and hit browse here. In these examples that are delivered with the Dataset US and Dataset NM, you'll see this supplement folder out there. If I go to that folder and go to designs, then here are some more complete examples of files for the project. I've got architectural, I've got mechanical, structural. And you can see here, I've got a, a discipline master model and then I've got a fire alarm, a lighting, first and second office floors, one and two. I've got a power, I've got a telecom. So those are my working models. And then here's my discipline master file. Notice I've also got a composition master file. So in some workflows, what we recommend doing is creating a composition master, and that's the file that you'll create your drawings from. And it will reference the discipline master. So if I go ahead and open that one up, well, let me open up the, I'll open up the discipline master just so we can quickly take a look at it. So you can see it's got a little bit more complete examples out there. If I go to references, I see I've got the power one, lighting one, and telecom one referenced in here. So if I had things from my ground floor and my second floor, third floor, whatever, however it's organized out there in my project. So I'm gonna come over here and open the composition master. So this is where I'm gonna create my drawings from. We'll look at the references here and we'll see that this one references the master model with its live nesting set to at least to a depth of two. So it's just a manner of organizing your 
models out there and then this composition master is the one that I'll generate my drawings from. Now I notice in my electrical tab it says register file. I'll go ahead and register this file with the database say OK and as far as the building structure uh, this would actually be for the whole building but I'll go ahead and choose office floor one and all my settings in here are good so I'll just say OK right there. Now I'm not going to be placing any electrical components but I just want to register it with the database out there because here I'll be using the drawing production tools here. So before I generate my drawing I'll come up to my references select that discipline master if I've got my show hierarchy button turned on here and I'll turn off the power the display of the power and the lighting wasn't seeing them there in my list here. So I, I did a right click on the column headings and, and switched it to layout one. And so this one is, uh, let me collapse this down a little bit. So my power, I'll turn off the display of that and my telecom, I'll turn off the display of that. And so I'm just seeing my lighting components for this particular design. And so I'll come to the drawing production tab up here in the ribbon interface and go to floor plans I'll choose this first tool here the floor plans tool in the tool settings dialog box I'll set my seed file to the electrical lighting plan notice our options over here plan by user definition plan by floor and plan by floor set in my case I'll choose this middle option the plan by floor You'll notice how this changes a little bit. I can come down here and select the floors from the floor selector. So I'm doing the office floor one. And we have different options for this. Notice we have view range. And if we open that up, we can say model range or drawing template. So if I choose the drawing template, you'll see how these numbers are populated. So it's using that office floor one Z elevation from the floor manager to set that distance right there. Now, I will change the forward distance to be 14 feet, so I can adjust my settings right here. I want to make sure my Create Drawing is turned on. And if you look at the prompt, it says Data Point to Define Floor Plan. So, I'll do this in this View 3, which is in a front orientation. So, I'll just left-click or Data Point out in that view, and then we get our Create Drawing dialog box open. In this create drawing dialog box you'll see this top section here where we give the drawing a name so i'll call this office floor one lighting plan this will be the drawing title on the sheet so i always double check myself looks good i see i've got some information here view type a plan it's electrical it's a floor plan for electrical then we come to this middle section where it's settings for creating the drawing model. So I've got that switch turned on, create drawing model. Notice this file name is telling me active file. Now that means it would create another model right inside this active file I'm in right now. Well, I want to direct it out to a different folder and a different file. So to do that, I can turn on the switch and you can see the tooltip pops up that says if on you can select the file in which the drawing model will be created so I'll flip that switch and then I come over to this icon over here that says create new drawing file so I choose that it's going to place me right into the drawing folder where my work set is pointing to and I'll give it a name down here as e office floor one lighting plan now, I've already got one in there, so I'm just going to overwrite that one. So I'll hit save. Let's say yes right there. Notice that my uh, scale is set to an eighth inch equals a foot, working in my imperial units. The visible edges is cached. And then the bottom section here is for creating a sheet model. So the same idea here. Yes, I do want to create a sheet model. I don't want it to be in the active file. So I'll turn the switch on here and then hit this create new sheet file option. And let's say this is going to be sheet 102 here. So we'll give it a name there. I'll hit save. I'm all good to go here, so I'll say OK. 
So several things happen here. Is it, it creates a clip volume in this composition master file, and it makes a saved view of that clip volume, and it creates a drawing file, references the save view, creates a sheet file, and references the drawing to the sheet. So several things happen in that process. You'll notice in the views out here, the markers show up. So the markers, that shows me that there's a plan generated right here. If you come up to the view attributes, if you don't see those markers in your views, there is a view attribute setting to uh, turn on those markers. So I see that it's on. I look, I'm looking in view three down here. If I go to my view attributes, see the markers are turned off. So I'll turn those on in there. And there you can see the marker. Now we can use our element selection tool to hover over that marker. As I hover over it, I see the clip volume that was created, but then you also get this mini toolbar that you can use to navigate to the drawing and the sheet because it has links built into it. So if I come up here to my drop down list in that mini toolbar, I see this is the sheet. I notice that icon tells me it's a sheet. This is the drawing, so that icon there. So I'll choose the drawing, and then we can say open that target. So it will close this composition master and open that drawing file. Now the drawing is a 2D file that has that save view referenced in. If I come up to my references, I see there's the composition master, and the orientation shows me that it's using that save view. So the name I gave that drawing is also the name of the save view, which it uses to reference to this drawing. Now I am going to attach a architectural background here. So if I go to references, I'll say attach. And in this supplement folder, in my example work set out here, if I go to drawings, I see I've got this background plan office floor one. The architectural team has provided that for me. So I'll turn on live nesting, I'll set it to maybe a depth of five and then say, okay. And then I'll see that architectural background, which is in like a half tone that the architectural team again has made for me. And then we can use that marker to navigate to the sheet. So if I come to my marker, hover over it, have that drop down set to the sheet and open target. So here's my sheet. So the sheet by default is the white background, the Drawing by default is a gray background. And the last step that I want to do here in the sheet, notice how uh, these, this drawing title is using fields to populate this data, but I want to ch change that bottom bubble. And it's also uh, using that same field for the drawing title down here. So if we come to our drawing production tab and the common tools group over here, we can go to this Models tab and go to this Annotation Scale option. And that will actually open the properties of the model that I see right here. And one of those properties is this sheet number right here. So I'm going to change that to reflect my sheet number, which is E-102. Then I'll just hit Enter right there. And then I see how that changed the field over here. And you would generate a drawing for each purpose that you need. So you probably would have a power drawing, a lighting drawing, a telecom drawing for each one of your floors for your project. So taking a look at creating a lighting plan drawing from Ecosim Building Designer Electrical. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.